overall goal of this two-stage reaction is to help overcome many of the technical barriers of liquid crystalline elastomers, such as how to utilize a facile, tailorable, and scalable reaction, or how to mechanically program a sample for thermomechanical actuation. This method gives us a versatile platform to investigate key questions in the field of LCEs, as well as make these materials more accessible to researchers without extensive backgrounds in chemistry and synthesis. One advantage of using this technique is that by using tile and acrylic chemistries, it gives researchers a very easy way to investigate structure, property, performance relationships by simply adjusting the amounts and types of monomers and misogens used. The creation of a monodomain in liquid crystalline elastomer has always been a challenge, especially a relatively thick sample. Generally, individuals new to liquid crystalline elastomer will struggle because of the difficulty of the synthesis. Demonstrating this procedure will be undergraduate students Victoria Dorr and Michael Bollinger. To begin, Add 4 grams of RM257 into a 30 milliliter vial. RM257 is a diacrylate mesogen and is received as a powder. Dissolve RM257 by first adding 40 weight percent of toluene. Then, heat to 80 degrees Celsius on a hot plate. It typically takes less than 5 minutes to dissolve the RM257 into a solution. After cooling the solution to room temperature, add 0.217 grams of the tetrathiol crosslinking.